in Fire and I'll see you being some uh, somewhat of a botched job on your damn radio. That's you say you blaming me for your botched job, the blue. Max Snyder came over there and left with a damn radio that ain't sounding a whole lot much better than when he came. Yes, he wasn't as tight as he was, but he was just an average dog on CB. But you talk him in and you talk that dog plug into dog on doing a damn world of dog on a hundred and degree, a hundred and eighty degree turn around and dog on radio uh the way the radio was gonna be sounding. And I, I think, you know, the plugs on the band was kinda quite disappointed, so you know <laughs> if you gonna talk the talk, you better walk the walk, breaker. Well, big man, you know, I guess I'm just going to have to live with my three-decade reputation of putting my fingers in things. I'm an 8 out of 10 guy with the repairs. I'm a 9.5 out of 10 with the tune-ups and the sound. And you know what? I live up to the Richie number 7 when I got to go clean up after everybody else's fuck-ups. You want the real deal? You, you want what you really want? You want what I'm really a thousand, twenty-seven percent, hundred and twenty-seven percent good for? Spend a hundred to a hundred and fifty. Walk in here with a brand new box, and I'll give you the finest, best talking piece you'll ever take to the grave and say you own. I got that home. Why the hell you ain't tell John Sheriff that's what he needs to do when he was bringing his damn read over there? If you know that what you, that's what he needed to bring in, a brand new radio and bring you a hundred and whatever dollars, why the hell you ain't tell him that? Why you let that man bring his used radio over there and pay you a few dollars and leave with his radio son in the same damn way? Yeah, I mean, if you're going to talk that damn talk, that's what you need to do. Instead of you over there trying to be damn desperate, telling that dog plugger, bring your radio over here, and then you're going to try, try to pass it off on the radio being a used radio and bots job and all that stuff. Why you ain't tell a dog plugger, listen to me. Bring me in there. When a dog plugger call, you say, 127, I'm coming over there with this damn radio. I want to tune off. Why you ain't tell me, bring a new radio over here, and you'll get the best sounding radio you ever hear. And bring me a hundred and twenty-five, a hundred and fifty dollars, and you get the, uh, the best sound the radio you'll ever hear. Why you let a dub plugger like John Shaw bring his damn radio over there and left with the radio sound in the same damn way, no damn different, breaker? Well, I don't know about that, but what I'd really like to know, big man, is where is your basis for this? And I, pay, I charged him a hundred. Why would? He, what are you talking about, sir? First of all, who who was the customer you were talking about? How much did I charge him? And and and, and who told you this? Because this is always the problem with big man. His sources. Uh, what's your source on this, sir? You just said a person bringing you a new radio and paying good money, uh, paying uh, whatever uh, whatever cost you said it was just now. <laughs> We'll get a doggone radio sound and the best sound and radio they'll ever hear. Or whatever. Uh, so you passing off the reason why these guys radio really haven't been performing the way the way they were expecting is because the readers are used readers and somebody else probably have been into it and all that stuff and you couldn't get to do what modification you wanted to do. That's what I'm assuming. Yeah, because that's the only reason why you're going to say bring you a new radio that hasn't been touched and whatever, let you do your magic on it. So I'm just saying, dog, I ain't saying nobody paid you $125, $150. I didn't say that. I'm just saying that's what you wanted for a duplicate to do. Or, you know, that's what you would, uh, you wanted the duplicate to bring a brand new radio so you be the first person to go inside of it so you can do your so-called magic. Now, I'm just saying that if a person calls you with an uh, average CB radio and said they want to come over there to get the radio done, why don't you tell the person, don't come over here with that damn radio, man. Bring me a new radio so I can perform a magic so you hear the best sound of radio. Why the hell you let John Sharp come over there with his damn used radio and he left sounding the same way he did? Why the hell you let Mike Snatcher come over there while well, Mike Snatcher radio on the reel to reel sounds a bit better, but it was just average. For the plugger that talk about 30 years of experience modifying radars, I thought his radar, Mike Snatcher's radar, would have actually sound a whole lot better. Even sound like this damn radar I'm talking on right here. You know what I mean? And this is a doggone, this is... <laughs> his radar here wasn't done by no double. Look, I'm going to show you something. 
I want to show you something. Look at this stuff, plug it right here. Look at that stuff, plug it right there. You hear all that damn audio? Do you hear that damn audio? This ain't no damn 127 audio. But I just cruise this stuff, plug it right here. Right about there, 127. See? That's a damn difference between the radio that I got an audio and our radio that just out there talking. <laughs> now answer me the damn question, damn it. Well, I'm going to answer your question, sir. First, I'm going to say to you that I don't know who told you, Mr. Whatever his name was here, but let's get to Snatcher. If Snatcher's radio sat on this table right now, I bet when I stick my mic in it, and I set that fucking open cut clarifier to the proper frequency, and I set that microphone off, I guarantee you'll be arguing up and down sideways. That ain't my snatcher, baby. That ain't my snatcher, baby. That ain't Big man. Big man. Let me tell you something. You talk so much yin-yang and bullshit that you have no idea what kind of fucking slob shit's coming out your fat-ass mouth. It come out your fucking mouth as quick as it run in and come out your asshole. Big man, let me tell you something. Enjoy my video gates. Take that. And do you really want to rewind it back? Do me a favor. Let me tell you something. I don't know who told you, who, you know, who told you uh, who my customer are. I'm sure my customers don't tell you anything. But I will tell you this. I, you know, without hanging no names because I can say this from they didn't tell me. I can say this because uh, factual straight up. When a radio come in here, when it's RF power knob all the way up, because it's got one of them things being an export Jimson, and uh, it's all the way up, and the duck shucker don't go past one watt, I know some asshole didn't know how to set both those variable knob main and variables up in that bitch. When they throw a whack pack bolted final mod up in it, it overheats the finals. And after a while, if there's not enough compound between the final and the fucking grounding case, after they get hot, it'll start to bog out. But, 50 on the other round is that the twin knobs ain't set right. Now, I, I don't know what work I do or how I do it, but I don't have any customers that, that heard their radios before they walk in gating and heard them after they walked out. And let me tell you something. There wasn't a tear on their face. No siree. Matter of fact, their comments and emails are something to celebrate over. But you know what? That's the difference between being told and being part of. Bullshit. Big man. You ain't no big man. You keep talking to my landlord. What you are is a big scumbag. You and your little fucking chicken puppy dog with his fucking candy ass beef. Y'all have a good day. Yo, Mr. DJ over there, I'm done. You could take care of this candy ass now that he's home on vacation. And I put the biggest flip in his mouth when I dropped into his fucking radio on the other end. I got out. 127, you ain't nobody but the doggone fool, the plugger. You know what I mean? <laughs> But you know what? I'm not his fool. And my video games do not make me look like the liar, the scumbag, the chicken shit, or the wannabe microphone gangster that ain't got no beef and damn sure ain't no tough guy. Oh, Georgetown Bulldog in total control. Wherever I land, when I'm at the helm, I cover the whole realm. In control, keep your soul overwhelmed under the influence of weed and all these technology test instruments. I got down. No doubt about it. But the last thing I know, I want to tell you, them couple We're going to see what Broadcastify says right now on old big man's words. What's up with that? <laughs> Keep crying to the landlord, bitch. Uh, uh, he tries for a compound. You using damn cold gear to pace, breaker. Big man ain't even up in that broadcast of